All right, in this video, what I want to show you is the fact that the render up until now has been in the effect of either Maya, Mental Ray, or software. There is many, many different types of render, but like, for instance, Final Gather. Um, there's um, another global illumination. There's ray tracing. If we click under here, we can go to features. And you can see the effects. So they're not really render, I guess, per se, but effects that go on to renders. But for right now, because you know these are things that I wanna cover within the rendering aspect of these lessons, I would say Final Gather would be a nice addition to the scene. So if I click Final Gather, what'll happen is um, the light in the scene will bounce around on different objects and kind of dance around until it gets everything rendered quite well. And let's see. So under here, let's uh, switch back to my panels. And this one I'm going to switch back into camera mode. Go back into this one and render it out. So what will happen is light will dance around the scene quite a bit and then add more and more detail as it goes on. You can see how these are very chunky until it actually gets rendered all the way. doing something while that renders. And why it's taking so long is because I've also, in addition to turning on Final Gather, is turn on one more thing that I got to show you. Not a bad render though. I like this. Got a lot of depth. It's got some highlights. Okay, now, the other thing that I changed is the fact that in here, under Common, we still have a 640 by 480 window. And the 640 by 480 is located here, 640 by 480. But I've upped the resolution to 150. A thing that you should know about these numbers compared to these numbers in comparison would be, this is the actual physical document size. And this is how many pixels are on the document. So at this ratio, uh, you're looking at 640 by 480 not being 640 by 480, but if it was this at 72, it would be double this document size. So what I like about resolution is this, you can keep your original size and then add resolution to it. But another thing that you should consider is uh, rendering big and shrinking small helps. Okay, So maybe instead of 640 by 480 by 150, you would probably do something like um, full 2048 by 72. Okay, that's the same thing, just about, pretty close. I kind of like the 640 by 40 by 150, just because it's a little faster on my render. So that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, you might want to keep this on when it comes out to your final output. So you get your scene all done, and then you change this. For right now, you know, keep it at 72, get a nice render, but at the end, make sure you change this to uh, 150 or at least 1280 by 768. Okay, now when I render it, it should render really quick and give me what I need to know about the scene. Does it look well? Yes. Does some of the lights need to be turned down? Maybe. Okay, so that is the differences between the renders. Final Gather just takes light within the scene and allows it to bounce off objects and gather within the scene. We're gonna be covering the other ones later and Final Gather even more so later. And also the resolution dots per inch versus document size.
All right, go on to the next video.